Hello, footy tippers. Welcome along to our weekly look at the AFL. Thanks to our great mates at Cenobet.com, uh, the best location for the best odds in AFL footy. Starting it off Friday night, Mark Dragasevich with North Melbourne taking on Carlton. How do you see this one panning out? Well, it's like how you skipped it. I got nine last week, but... Uh, uh, it wasn't a skip. It was a deliberate miss. Yeah, well, for me, North Melbourne had changed tactics. They'd have come from behind. Yes. From five goals behind. Maybe that'll work. Got because just protect the goals. They Shut do. it down. They just don't know how to protect the, their lead. Uh, I don't know what the problem is. It has to be mental, but uh, when the opposition get a couple of run-ons and uh, they just can't shut them down. But And Carlton are the sort of team that if they line. get some run-on, Henderson there up forward, uh, yeah. you know, they've got a good-looking forward line. It's not all about Judd and Murphy and these sorts of guys anymore. No, definitely not. And that's just giving them another avenue to go. And when Waite comes back, uh, I wonder if they can combine well. OK, Hawthorne will be too strong for the Bulldogs. Ditto Essendon over GWS. And that brings us to the Gold Coast Suns taking on Collingwood at Your Metricon. Boys. Your I boys. do still like Gold Coast. They you were do. a shandy away from knocking new blokes off in Cairns last week. So I think they can trouble Collingwood. They can trouble them. Uh, Collingwood will be too strong. Uh, congratulations to Ben Johnson, who's going to be retiring after a good career too. Yeah, so, fabulous uh, career. And a real good team man, as I understand from uh, what Rodney Eade said during the week. St Kilda taking on Port Adelaide. Uh, this is an interesting game Saturday night. The power need to bounce back. Uh, and the Saints, they just need to win a game and sort of start rebuilding. Well, the Saints were thereabouts against the Blues. Uh, they just need more contributors. It's been a story all year. Uh, Port should win, but I think this is a game that uh, Saints can trouble them. Well, Melbourne will go from minus 10 degrees in Geelong last week to uh, plus 40 degrees in uh, Darwin for the match against Brisbane. Yeah. Uh, but they seem to respond OK up there. Yeah, they completely there different times. conditions. They'll probably have heavy legs. They should have lost by 120 in the sun, yeah. so they're lucky it probably was wet uh, Brisbane to win that one. OK, Richmond take on Frio. No Pavlich for the Dockers. Uh, bit poor that uh, from the skip on the weekend, but they're going to yeah. be missing him for three weeks. Can the Tiggers get the Dockers? Well, Tiggers got over the Cairns curse, so hopefully that gives them some confidence. The Dockers are a very good team, but uh, the MCG, I'm not even sure if they've played there this year, so hopefully they can replicate their win of two years ago. It'll, it'll really goals. be a good gauge for the Tigers. If Definitely. they win this one, they're genuine. If they don't, well, it's back to normal and a ninth position is probably beckoning. Adelaide take on Geelong. If the Cats are up, no Stevie J, but if they're up, they'll be winning this one because Adelaide have been woefully disappointing. Yeah, inconsistent, and they won't have danger fields, so that's their best prime mover, uh, Geelong for me over there. And the West Coast Take on Sydney. Uh, no Ben McGlynn for the Swans. Patterson Stadium. And again, a good litmus test for the Swans. West Coast just faded out last week. And if they do that to the Swans, they'll punish them this week. Hopefully they take it back to the mid-2000s of those oh. close games. And uh, Some your favourite. that I was still filthy your on about favorites, 2005. But, uh, Sydney will get up for this game. They had an easy run last week. Uh, West Coast without Emily. Uh, yeah, Sydney for me. OK, let's have a look at Dragger's tips for the weekend on Friday night, liking the Blues. All the favourites on uh, Saturday afternoon, the Hawks, the Bombers and the Pies. Uh, St Kilda in a bit of an upset over Port on Saturday night. Uh, Melbourne and Brisbane's flip of the coin, but going the way of the uh, Lions. And then on Sunday, fingers crossed for the Tigers. Geelong too strong. And wrapping it up with the Sydney Swans, Cenobet.com. If you want to take an all-up, a Dragosevich all-up, it'll probably be about 100 to 1, <laughs> but well worth a punt on Cenobet.com. Get on it.